And what does every so-called solution to global warming that's presented in the mainstream have in common? What they all have in common is they take industrial civilization as a given and the natural world as, as having to conform to industrial civilization. It's all, when did environmentalism stop being about protecting the natural world and start being about, quote, sustainability, which is about sustaining this way of life that's killing the planet? That's fucking outrageous, outsane. Um, it is insane in terms of being out of touch with physical reality because the health of the planet must be primary, always. Without a planet, you don't have any social system at all. But that's not how we think, because our every action must be to protect the system. Right after Fukushima, one of the Japanese energy ministers said that they have to keep going with, with nuclear power because, quote, we can't imagine living without electricity. So I was thinking a few things. One of them is, well, right now about two billion people on the planet live without electricity, and they do very fine. Um, also, humans did fine up until about the turn of the, you know, maybe 1920, before that, without industrially generated electricity. We basically were on five continents. And um, we were doing very well. And you can't imagine them without electricity. But the main thing that hit me is that have you ever heard some public official say, we can't imagine living without polar bears? We can't imagine living without monarch butterflies? We can't imagine living without the Colorado River reaching the ocean? We can't imagine living without living oceans? We can't imagine? That's the problem, is a failure of imagination, that we can't imagine living without Wi-Fi, but we can imagine living without salmon. 